Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make all of these modded outfits in GTA 5 Online. So I hope you do go on to enjoy the video and if you do I would really appreciate a like as it helps out massively. Um, also feel free to subscribe if you're new here as that would be awesome too. Um, but yeah, that's all up to you. Before we get into the video though, shout out to all of these people on screen for commenting hashtag TJRH on my last video. Quickly, if you would like any of these GTA cash and rank services, be sure to check out Digizani in the description below and you can use my code TJRH for 5% off your order. Also, they do have a new giveaway site so if you'd like to enter for a chance to win any of these prizes, feel free to check the link in the description. So without further to do, we're going to get straight into doing this so all you need to do is come to any clothing store on the map, so come to any clothing store, uh, anyone, anywhere on the map, it doesn't matter really. Uh, but you want to make sure you put the required amount of money inside of your bank so make sure you deposit it into your bank uh, but from here you want to go up to the front counter you want to equip the outfit you would like to keep as by doing a glitch it will delete all your saved outfits so equip the saved outfit you'd like to keep uh, so i'm using this one uh, but from here you can go and delete the, all your other saved outfit well from here you can delete all your saved outfits uh, if you want to but they do get deleted either way by doing a glitch uh, then from here back out of this menu Open up your pause menu, go to online, and you want to head down to swap character. In this menu here, you want to make sure your main character is on the left slot. If it isn't, it won't work for you. Uh, and then from here, make a new, fem new female character in the right slot. Uh, so it might be a male, but you can change it to a female. Uh, if you get this alert, accept this alert. Um, and then in this menu, switch it to a female and then hit save and continue, name your character anything and you'll load into a public session. Once you load in, you want to open up your map, see if you have any clothing stores. A lot of, t a lot of the time you won't have any, so from here, uh, all you need to do is find a new session. Um, but if you do have them, just go to one. Also, uh, I would recommend going into passive mode whilst you're doing this, uh, just so no one can mess up the glitch for you. Uh, so go into passive mode, and then from here check to see if you have any clothing stores. Uh, most likely you will this time, so go to one. In the clothing store, you want to head over to the accessories menu at the back of the store, so at the back right. Just go over to the accessories menu. Then on here, um, you want to remove any earrings, uh, so most standard outfits do come with earrings, so take them off. And then also remove any other accessories on your outfit so if you see any watches, gloves or anything to, uh, just take them off. But from here I'm going to skip to when I've made the outfits just so it's easier and quicker to go over them. Um, yeah, I'll still go in depth and show you what to equip. So the first outfit is going to be the CEO vest outfit which does consist of two different outfits on a female so vest 1 and vest 2. Uh, for this first one you want to head over to the uh, glove section. So over here go on gloves and you want to purchase the red and grey armoured. So these here, red and grey armoured. After that you then just want to head over to the uh, pan section. Now on here head down to utility pants and you want to go for the black battle pants. So number 37, the black battle pants. After that you then want to go on the top section and you want to head down to overcoats. And you want to equip the Urban Open Parker. So if it is closed, open up your interaction menu and then just set it to open. But from here, all you need to do is head down to bikinis. And you want to go for the black floral bikini. So the black floral. Uh, obviously, there was a mod in this session. Um, if you do get any problems, uh, you can just find a new session. And it will not mess up the glitch, by the way. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So as I was saying, go for the black floral bikini, so number one. And then after that, you want to open up your interaction menu, go to inventory body armor, and you want to show heavy armor. So make sure you show the heavy armor. This is important. Uh, but from here, go and save this. And you want to save it to slot number two. And name this one vest one. So name all of, the de name all of these and the same as I do, uh, just so it's easier for you later uh, in the glitch. Then from here, the second outfit, uh, we only change a few things, so head over to the pants section and you want to go on sports pants and then equip the spotted muscle pants, so number one. 
then from here all you need to do is you want to head over to the hat section so over onto hats and head down to caps forward so onto caps forward and I'll click the grey woodland cap so number 12 I think this one here the grey woodland cap uh, but after that go on shoes you want to go onto boots and find the red cowboy boots so these are the red cowboy boots uh, but after this make sure you put back on your heavy armor so it might come off uh, but just re-equip your heavy armor so just like that and then from here all you need to do is go back to the front counter and then save this in slot number three so underneath the other outfit and name it vest two so that should be both the outfits done for the vest uh, now we're moving on to the purple galaxy and for the first one, uh, well for this one we have two different outfits on the female uh, but for the first one head over to the glove section on the accessories menu now on gloves go for the light woodland armoured so light woodland armoured uh, but after that all you need to do from here is head over to the uh, shoe section so over onto shoes go on boots and I did accidentally go for these Warnox Blood Slack boots uh, but instead I'll let you know what you need to go for so what you actually want to equip is the worn black slack boots as they will give you the purple tron shoes uh, but the ones I equipped give you the pink ones so I didn't mean to do those uh, you're meant to do the black slack boots uh, but from here you can head over to the top section and head down to leather bomber jackets then go for the multicolor SN leather closed uh, so if it is open you can go into your interaction menu style set it to closed uh, but also make sure you have on the spotted muscle pants uh, but save this to slot number 4 and name it purple 1 so make sure you name it the same as I do uh, but for purple 2 we're going to keep everything the same but the top so go on to tops head down to work jackets and you want to go for the peach camo closed field so this one here peach camo closed field uh, but after that you then want to go down to tucked t-shirts so on to tucked t-shirts equip number 75 so the blue digital t-shirt this one here number 75 but after that you go back to the front counter and then save this in slot number 5 and name it purple 2 so underneath purple 1 and just make sure it's named purple 2 uh, but that's both the purple outfits done uh, so moving on to the checkerboard um, this also consists of two different outfits on the female uh, we are going to keep the gloves the same and then you want to go you want to go to uh, pants go on jeans and equip the black cropped jeans so the black cropped these here but after that go on to the top section just behind you and you want to head down to the sports tops and equip the grey racer back so this here the grey racer back um, if you do still have the jacket on from before all you need to do is take it off and then from here head over to the shoe section Now on shoes, head down to the high heel boots and you want to go for the Deluxe Midnight Combat boots. So these are Deluxe Midnight Combat. After that, go to the front counter and you want to save this in slot number 6 and name it Checkered 1. So uh, just make sure you name them the same as I do. It'll make it a lot easier. Uh, so Checkered 1. Then for Checkered 2, we just need to uh, change the top. So go on to tops, head down to work jackets again. And you want to go for the peach camo closed field. So the peach camo closed field. Uh, this time though, you want to head down to gun running t-shirts. So not tucked t-shirts, gun running t-shirts. And go for the blue digital t-shirt, so the last one. This one here. Now after that, just go and save this in slot number 7. And name it checkered 2. So make sure you name it checkered 2. Uh, but that's both the checkered outfits done. Uh, now we move on to the green outfit which consists of four different outfits on the female actually so quite a few uh, so for the first one you are going to want to go to the glove section on accessories also on accessories you want to go on earrings and equip the B&W deco earrings uh, but after that what you need to do is go down to gloves and equip the blue surgical gloves so these here and after that uh, go on tops, head down to tank tops and you want to go for number 61 the mocha, mocha torn short crop so this here after that all you need to do is go to the shoe section this time so go on to shoes and you want to head on to boots then go for the oxblood slack boots 
so these here. But after this, uh, finally, you want to go to the pan section. Now on here, go on sports pants and go for the spotted muscle pants, so these ones. Uh, but from here, go to the front counter and you can go and save this outfit now. So go and save it to slot number 8 and name it green 1. So same as I do again. Uh, but that's the first one done, so on to green number 2. Now if something like this does happen, uh, feel free to find a new session. Um, or you can just like go around the block once and the Suburban should open again. Um, but obviously you might have people trying to annoy you, uh, which is why you want to be in passive mode. Uh, but yeah, I'll just be back in a moment. So anyway, for green number two, uh, we want to keep everything the same, but we're going to change the gloves and the top. So on top, head down to polo shirts, and you want to go for the Navy Liberty polo. So this one here, the Navy Liberty polo. But after this, you're not going to go to the gloves section. Now on gloves, go for the white and green armoured. So number two. Uh, then you can go to the front counter and then save this uh, as green number two. So save it to slot number 9 and name it green 2. Now for green number 3 we're going to keep everything the same uh, but we're going to change the top. So head on to fitted suit jackets and equip the black boating blazer. So the black boating blazer, then open up your interaction menu, go to inventory body armour and you want to show super light armour. Now all you need to do is go and save this to slot number 10 and name it green 3, so this time green number 3. Uh, but that's nearly the last one, so on to the last one now. Uh, we want to change the top and all you need to do is go on tops. Head down to bustiers and you want to go for the teal lace bustier. So the teal lace. Um, and then after that head up to sports jackets and then go for the sea green puffer jacket. So this here, the sea green puffer jacket. And then after that, go to your inventory, go to body armour, and you want to show heavy armour, so you need to show the heavy armour. Um, and then you can go save this to slot number 11, and name it green number 4. But anyway, that's all the outfits done, so I'll go over them slowly now, and then you can just make sure yours look the same as mine. So once you have made sure yours are the same as mine, open up your interaction menu and take the easy way out. And once you spawn back in, open up your uh, pause menu, go to online and start up creator. Then in this menu, go down to create a race and you want to make a new land race. Uh, so from here, fill in the details so the title, description and photo do not matter. They can be absolutely anything. But from here, what does matter is you want to set max players to 3. Then set the route type to point to point. And then after that, you can choose any supercar or any car. Um, it doesn't really matter. And then you want to warp over to the airport. Now over here, place the trigger anywhere, and then take a photo of anything for a lobby camera, so take a photo of anything, and then from here you want to place checkpoints, uh, so keep placing them until that red warning icon 
goes away at the bottom right, so it's usually around 0.6 miles uh, when it goes away. So right here, as you can see, it did go away, so from here back out and you want to simply test the race. Now you should get this alert, so accept the alert, and then quickly open up your port menu, go to online, and you want to go down to choose character. Now in this bit here, all you need to do is delete your female character, so go onto your female and delete her. Now all you want to do is press B for Xbox or circle for PlayStation, so I'll return to story mode. Now in story mode you want to start up a new online invite only session. Once you load into online, uh, you then just want to go into the clothing store, you'll notice you have the outfit that you chose to keep at the beginning, so go and save this to slot number 20, so save it out of the way to slot number 20, and you'll also notice all the outfits from the female have transferred over, so you'll see them all here. So to start off, we're going to be making the CEO vest outfit, and for this you will need the CEO vest outfit first, oh well the the outfit with that, the CEO outfit with the vest on, um, as we need to use it to merge it onto the outfit. Uh, so all you need to do is head over to that clothing store uh, on the map. Over here, set your spawn location to last location, then go on hide options, jobs, set them to custom, so the blue jobs appear on the map, so there'll be one next to you. Uh, then register as a CEO, go to CEO style, switch over to the El Jefe outfit here, so the one with the CEO vest. Uh, then from here, go on the blue circle and press right D-pad. In this menu, just start up the job straight away. Um, and then you should load into the first menu and on this first menu hit confirm and continue but on the second one wait a few seconds and then simply just quit. When you load in head back into the clothing store press right keypad on any menu and wait on here until you get kicked off of the menu. So when you get kicked off, you'll have the outfit now, so retire from your CEO, and it will keep the outfit on. So from here, you want to go to the accessories menu, then go on gloves, and you can go for like the black woolen gloves, or any gloves of your choice. Uh, so these will merge onto the outfit. And then also, if you want, you can go for the black desert scarf, uh, but that's up to you. Now from here, open up your pause menu, go to online, jobs, play job, go on to a bookmarked, and you want to head down to missions, and then you will need a mission bookmarked called It's a G Thing, so you want to start it up. As you can see, I do not have it bookmarked, um, but I'll uh, restart my online and bookmark it. Um, I'll leave the link to the job in the description, so simply go to that and then bookmark the job and restart your GTA online. Uh, so go to story mode and then go back to online. So I'm now back online, um, and you want to go to online, uh, jobs, play job, bookmarked, go on emissions, uh, go on missions, and you'll find It's a G Thing, so start that up. And then in the menu, every time you do this, you want to set a clothing to player saved outfits. And then you want to invite anyone and start this up. Once you're in this menu, just simply scroll two to the right, and you'll have this outfit here. So uh, for some reason, it doesn't show the hood up and the white hat. But when we load into the job, you should have the white hat and the hood up. Um, so yeah, just ready up and load into the job. As you can see there, we do have the hood up. And we also have the white hat and the CEO vest. 
um, and black joggers and everything. Uh, so from here, all you need to do is, in a mission, head over to any of your apartments. Uh, so you'll need to know where they are, um, as they won't show up on a minimap. Now inside of your apartment you want to head over to your wardrobe and you want to save this outfit. Uh, but you want to save it at the bottom so to slot number 19. So go to your wardrobe and then go ahead and save your outfit to slot number 19. Just down here. And then name it whatever you want to. So slot 19. Um, and then from here you can delete vest 1 and vest 2 so make sure you do delete those. Um, and then from here you'll be left with this outfit now. Um, so from here all you need to do is find a new section. In this new session, you will have the outfit saved, so you can now equip it using your interaction menu. Uh, but from here, we need to make the rest of the outfit, so all you need to do is go to a clothing store. Now, the next outfit is going to be the purple galaxy outfit, so we have purple 1 and 2. Uh, but for, for this, um, if you want to use the purple chon pants, you will have to go down to deadline outfits. And you will have to purchase the purple one, which does cost about 200k. Uh, so if you don't want to do this, you can just go for any other purple pants. So if you have the purple joggers, use those, so just equip those. Uh, but if you do want to use this outfit, um, then feel free to buy it, uh, which I'm going to do. Uh, but from here, you want to start up, it's a G thing once again, so open up your pause menu, go to online jobs, bookmarked, missions, start up, it's a G thing. Now in this menu here, set the clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anyone to start this up. When you start it up, just scroll to to the right on owned outfit and then ready up. So you'll have this outfit here, so ready up. Now in the job, all you need to do is simply head over to your apartment uh, and go to your wardrobe. Then in your wardrobe, uh, you want to go save this outfit at the bottom, so to slot number 18 this time, and name it whatever you want to, so slot number 18, name it anything, uh, and then all you need to do is simply delete purple 1 and purple 2, uh, so make sure you do delete those, uh, you need to, uh, but from here you can find a new session. And you'll now have this outfit saved, um, so you can equip it in your session and do whatever you want. Um, and yeah, it'll be saved forever, just like the other outfits. Um, but now we need to go and make all the other outfits still. Um, but by the way, I did use the wrong shoes for this outfit, as you can see. They ended up being the pink Tron shoes. Um, but I did tell you which ones to equip earlier, so uh, you guys should get the purple ones. Uh, but from here, you want to go to the clothing store and then go to the front counter. Now on here next up we have the checkerboard outfit, so checkered 1 and 2. And for that all you need is if you want to use the biker gloves, uh, you want to go and equip the black biker suit, uh, but you can go for any gloves of your choice if you don't want to go for that. Um, but I'm going to use the black biker suit, so head down to biker suits and then go for the black biker suit. And these gloves will merge onto that outfit. Um, but from here start up it's a G thing. Now set the clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anyone to start this up. 
Now, in this menu here, go and own the outfit, scroll two to the right, then you'll get this outfit so ready up. Now, in the mission, head over to your apartment uh, and go to your wardrobe. Now, in your wardrobe, uh, press right D-pad and then go and save this outfit to slot number 17 and name it checkered uh, or name it any, anything you want to. But from here what you need to do is uh, delete the checkered 1 and checkered 2. So make sure you delete both of those. And then from here you can just simply find a new session. And then you'll notice that outfit is fully saved, so you can equip it using your interaction menu. Uh, but from here, to make the final outfit, head over to a clothing store. Now, for the last outfit, you're going to need the green joggers for it. Which, if you don't have, you can look at my how to get all the joggers video. I did a few videos back, um, and then you can get it using the direct mode glitch. Um, but I do not have it. I do not have them on my PC account, unfortunately. Um, so if you don't have them, you can just go for any other green pants. Um, so yeah, just use whatever, uh, but preferably the green joggers uh, if you have them or if you want to get them. I did end up just just using these, um, but obviously the green joggers would be the best option. But from here, just go ahead and um, go ahead and start up. It's a G thing. Set the clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anyone and start this up. And then once you load in, go onto owned outfit and scroll 2 to the right. And then you should get this outfit, well, actually scroll 4 to the right even. So go all the way to green number 4. And you'll have this outfit here. Um, you shouldn't actually get this black, like, pouches on the outfit. That's just because I had black pouches on my previous outfit and they merged on for some reason. Um, but yeah, you can go for, uh, you should get an outfit like this if you have the green joggers, uh, it will look a lot better. Um, but from here, go and save it in the, your apartment wardrobe. Now, in the wardrobe, you can go and save this outfit anywhere as it is the last outfit and we do not need to make any more uh, so save it to any slot and then you don't actually need to delete the green 1, 2, 3 and 4 either so if you want to you can make an outfit like this and then keep green 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then whenever you get a green joggers next so maybe a new glitch will come out and it'll be easy to get them uh, then you can just redo this and get a green joggers as long as you keep that green 1, green 2, green 3 and green 4 uh, outfits and then you can just do the same again, but with different pants. Uh, but yeah, that's this final one done. So you can go to a clothing store. Well, you can find a new section actually, and then go to a clothing store. As you can see, you can equip the outfit now. Uh, but yeah, that's how you make this. And now go to a clothing store if you want to customize it. Anyway, that's it for this video, so hopefully you like these outfits, that's all of them done, um, and hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, it is quite a long video, so sorry about that, not much I can do though. Uh, but yeah, feel free to leave a like if you want to, uh, and subscribe if you're new, up to you though. And if you made it to the end, let me know, and I'll try and heart your comment. 
Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day or night and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.